I'm really excited about this lesson. I've been working on the presentation of this for months. I've been working on this material for, for years, and I'm excited to get it to you. It addresses one of the biggest issues that I'm seeing with my drumming, drumming students these days, and that is the issue of half learning. So in this lesson, I promise you, I am going to give you tools, not just like theoretical tools, I'm gonna give you actual practical things on if you do this on the drum set, you can change it by doing this, you can do this. So we are going to look at this issue of half learning. All of this is attached to my new course called the art of drumming independence. And I'm not talking about independence as in like my right hand can do this, left foot can do this. I'm talking about independence as in you can play what you want to play, how you want to play it, when you want to play it. Let's understand this huge issue first. Half learning, what is that? We work on material and we never see it show up in our playing. So we spend time in our practice time working on material that we're interested in or maybe a teacher has given us and we get it to a level where we can play it. We see the exercise, we can play the exercise, but we never close that gap between what we can actually play in our gig or what we can actually play outside of our practice time. We never see it naturally show up in our playing because we get distracted by some new shiny object or we think, oh, I've got this down or we say that and go, oh, I get the basic idea. This is half learning, having the concept in your mind, but you can't apply that concept. And I see this over and over and over and over with my students. It's almost the thing that we focus on all the time. It's like, well, you haven't fully learned that. You need to spend longer on it. So in this lesson, we are gonna take a deep dive on this topic. And I'm gonna break this out and show you a ton of different ways that you can interpret one drumming phrase that we're gonna talk about. Okay, so let's talk about this drumming phrase. I'll use some others as examples too, but let's talk about a very simple drumming phrase, or as I call them, the big seven. That's seven big picture principles that we can focus on in any uh, given exercise. Uh, I would call this a melody. And, and the melody is gonna be very simple, okay? It's gonna go one and, two e and, a three e and, a four and, that's it. One and, two e and, a three e and, a four and, here's it, three, four, That's the phrase, and you're like, Stephen, there's not much to that. Not yet, okay? Remember, we're trying to focus on diving deep. Forget the half learning, let's dive deep on a topic, and let's explore it and see what we can do when we really apply it to our drumming. So if we take that concept, three, four, one. All right, I can play with my right hand. Now let me play it with my left hand. One. So I know both hands can play this. Play it on your kick drum. We're getting what I call the skeleton of that rhythm together. Because before we can do something like this, or this, or this, before we can do any of those types of things, we have to understand the skeleton of the rhythm. So after I had that skeleton, I would then go, okay, what could I do? Maybe I could fill in with 16th notes uh, and make all of the inner beats soft 16th notes and all of the, uh, the melody, as we'll call that, an accented note. We could make that a drum fill on its own. And now, I just got ahead of myself. So we do, okay, yeah, that's a simple thing because on the surface, it's like, oh, that's a simple thing. The same thing with Lego bricks. Lego bricks are simple, right? But you can build worlds with them, okay? So let's take this Lego brick and let's build something with it. And I just alluded to my next one. I could put it on the toms, put all the accents on the toms. So I have a very simple drum fill there. All right, let's keep diving into this. And all of these, by the way, all of these different methods, I break out in depth in my new course, The Art of Drumming Independence. We're just getting an overview because I want you to see what can happen when you take it in depth. And for those of you that are already thinking about, okay, this is, I'm gonna skip this video, come back to it later. Don't, because that's the problem. We're not staying with material. Stay with this lesson and let's see how we can grow this and all the different ways we can play this. 
Okay, so I put it on my toms. Well, the next thing I could do is put my kick drum with it, okay? And that's not a big move, but it's the next logical move. So my kick drum's gonna play with my hands uh, on all the accented notes, and that'll sound like this. Make sure you're hitting unisons and not flams. We could do that on the toms. Now you're like, Steven, that doesn't sound a ton different. Not by itself. But what it does is it leads us to the next thing we can do. We could put it on the cymbals. And right there you heard me mix all three of them. Some on the hi-hat, some on the tom, some on the snares, and some on the, on the cymbals. We've taken a very simple melody, three, four. And now we're diving into it and we're trying to explore it. All right, so let's, let's go to the next, you know, logical thing that maybe my mind would go to. And I say, okay, well, I could, um, I could put rolls in between. Anybody ever, and I, and I sent out a lesson last week, you, a lot of you emailed me in about it, and it's different ways to use rolls. For years, I didn't understand how to use five-stroke roll, seven-stroke roll, six-stroke roll, 13-stroke, 15-stroke. I'm like, how, how do I use that on the drum set? Until I started going through very simple reading studies like these, a ton of, a ton of these studies are included in the Art of Drumming uh, Independence. And um, I've got, I don't know, six or seven of them right there. And um, they're just melodies. They're frameworks that we can use and go deep. We've got one measure on that page is like 50-something measure, measures, right? And so a ton of ideas. So let's take that idea, and now, instead of playing 16th notes, let's play rolls in between the accident notes. Three. All of a sudden, this very simple melody gets way more interesting. It's like, oh wow, okay, so I never thought I could put rolls there. What if we did the reverse of that? What if we put diddles on the main notes? That's different, like when would I use that? I don't know when you'd use it, but it's a different way to interpret it. So now that sounds like this. Okay. Maybe I could put the inner beats on the toms. That sounds kind of cool. Three, three, four. Ah, <laughs> three, four. Okay, now we've got kind of a different way to interpret that. What if we put all of the notes on the kick drum and filled that in? And you're like, Steven, you're going pretty quick with this. Yeah, I'm taking like, this is gonna take weeks and weeks to work on and work out, but I'm giving you the bird's eye view of like, just stay with me. Look how far this idea can go if we don't settle for half learning. Look how far we can take it if we'll apply it to our playing and be creative in what we're doing. All these methods listed, I teach in that course. And this is just kind of like, once we put them all together. So what if we just used the kick drum and filled in inner beats with the snare drum? Three, now, what if we flipped that and we said, ooh, what if I played the melody with my hand and on the bass drum filled in all the inner beats? That's a great bass drum workout. Would you use that? I don't know. I could use that as a drum fill. Obviously smooth that out a little bit because some of these I'm just going through and giving you the idea. You spend the time, smooth them out, make sure that they sound really, really good. What's another simple thing we can do? We could take and play that melody as a flam. Flams 
are one of the three or four top rudiments that I suggest uh, drummers learn. And a flam is just a grace note, followed by the primary note. So you have this note, and we put a little note in the front of it. I almost think of it like a fishing line. This is your fishing pole, and this is your bait down here. And you can put that flam, the, the uh, primary note is the one you're going for, and the grace note is just attached to that. So three, four, one. That doesn't sound great by itself, but what happens when we put those flams on the toms? One. That's the primary note on the toms. What if we put the grace note on the toms? Three, four. I like that. I've always liked that sound. All right. So now we have the exercise there. Next logical thing's like, what could I do? What could I do? Oh yeah, we could put 16th notes in the middle of that and put those on the toms. We could take and we could now put the grace note on the toms instead of the primary note. And it's like, oh, well, let me work out that sticking. Do you see, do you see we haven't been going that long in this lesson. And I have thrown, I know, 20 ways at you where it's like, do this, do this, do this. All of these methods I teach in my course, and I've been myself working through these methods for a very long time because they've helped expand my drumming vocabulary. When it comes to playing solos, when it comes to playing drum fills, when it comes to playing drum beats, it gives me something to go to so I can get my creative juices flowing. And it's a system. I've put together a whole system for how to work through this for my own self that I'd love to share with you. And, it's, and it works you through all of this. So let's put 16th notes there and put the grace note there. I could put them all on the right hand and change the sticking. Two, three, four. We come up with these, with the, I call them happy little accents. Like they sound, it's like, oh, that sounds neat. How could I incorporate that into my playing? So now we've gone from this. Two. And more in a very short time. And what we do is we keep we keep following this trail down. What else could I do? Well, I what if we played the flam in between our kick drum and our snare? That's you see how deep we're going on this? There's no half learning here. We're integrated again to our playing and we're spending a lot of time with one piece of source material. One measure has given us the fodder for this whole lesson. So we could flam in between the kick drum and the snare or, or in the snare. Now, maybe you would, but that's kind of a loose feel. Did you see what I did that? I played it without the 16th notes. I added the 16th notes added the roll. You see how simple that system was? And I'd already designed that system from a, a couple of methods ago. So once we get the system down, we start putting the little pieces in there and something that seems so simple, we can now use in a solo type of a situation. I'm randomly going through all those ideas, right? So that we, we put it together a little bit more. But you can see where this is going and how much we can utilize this. Maybe you could say, okay, well, what else could we do with this? Well, we haven't messed with single strokes, okay, as far as like 32nd notes. So maybe every note is a uh, two 32nd notes. Every note in that melody is two 32nd notes. Everything else plays 16th notes. Three, four. 
And some of you are like, hey, that's a herta. A herta is. You're right, this makes hertas. Now, the real magic of hertas comes when we start applying them to the toms. Three, four. Two, three, four. What if we left one hand on the snare? I like that one. You see me stopping to think about it there for a second. So what we have done to combat this huge enemy that we kind of all have in our practice time, which is half learning, we're taking one topic and we're deciding to stay with it for weeks, months. When we think we've, we've got it, we realize, oh no, I've just scratched the surface. There's so much more I could do with this. And trust me, we're not even done. In, this, in, in my course, uh, The Art of Drumming Independence, I have over 70 methods that I teach, and I'm not done coming up with them. I'll keep adding to the chorus as I come up with more and more. And I'll, I teach you how to come up with your own, how to play creativity games, how to use these to solo, how to use these to play the melody of a song, how to use these to make drum beats, how to use these to make drum fills. Um, and you can kind of just see where all this goes. Well, what else could we do with this? I could still use those as single strokes, but put double stroke rolls in between them, okay? So let's get that going. It sound like this. That one sounds pretty cool. I could, I could mix it with the rolls. But you can see the more I get into this, the more my brain's like, oh, I could do this, I could do this, I could do that, I could do that. That's what I want to spark in you, is that, is that understanding that when we stay with a topic long enough, we start to ingest that topic and that topic starts to show up in our playing. We can even take this and we could play drags in between our kick drum and our snare drum maybe. So instead of a uh, flam, it sounds like this. Three, four. Play sixteenths underneath it. Some of you are already like he's about to play a role. Let me get that one down. That one's hard. Three, four. And you might be like, Steven, that's not the sound I always want. Well, it doesn't have to be the sound you always want, but that could be a really cool sound. And it's like, wait a second, are those 30 second notes? Or is, is that a drag? What is that? You, we start to blur the line in between those as to like actually what they are. Okay, now let's take, you're like, okay, I get it, Steven. Is that all we can do is just kind of like shred on the drum kit? No, and a lot of you can see this gives you a vocabulary. So let's go away from that melody now and let's just expand that a little bit. And let's go through some of these concepts that I've been talking about and let me show you um, how far I can use them on the drum kit to play other and varying patterns.
what I'm doing is I'm going through the different methods that I've showed you right here and some that I haven't shown you, some that are included with the course, other ones that I'm messing with myself, and I'm using them to generate ideas. And you can see now that I've laid that framework that seemed very methodical and like, okay, this one doesn't sound interesting. This one, it's a system and a great system builds upon itself. All of the smaller parts are just as important as the larger part. If you have an engine and you have one bolt that gets taken out, a lot of times that engine won't work. You have one washer that gets taken out, a rubber washer and it's leaking, it doesn't work. It's the same way with systems and that's why I've developed kind of this system that I've worked myself through um, and that has yield, uh, yielded great results for me. Now let's go to a, oh, we've looked at like drum fills and soloing and you know, uh, playing a lot of notes. Let's look at what we could do with drum beats. Let's go back to that melody we were using earlier. Let's say I just have eight notes here on the hi-hat and I'm gonna play two and four on my snare, eighth notes here, and the kick drum plays that melody. Remember the melody. Three, four. Okay, so now we take that. Three, four. What if we did a simple thing like change where the rhythm was? Let's play four on the floor, two and four on the snare, and let's put the rhythm in our right hand. We could even change the bass drum rhythm. That should be challenging. Let's see if I could do that. So let's change it to something like this. Now, first thing we do is work out what's happening over here. That sounds pretty cool. Eight notes here, the rhythm here. Three, four. You heard me there? I messed it up, and that's the magic about going through these things. I'm still working through a lot of this material because it's fun. You see me smiling. It's fun while we're doing it. Three, four. So we put it on the bass drum for a groove. We put it on the hi-hat. What happens if we put it back on the bass drum when we filled in all of the um, all of the 16th notes with ghost notes? All right, let me get that going. Three, four. Three, four. All of a sudden, now we have a groove. What happens if we do something really strange? Let's do something really strange and change things up. Every time I play a bass drum, which is playing the rhythm, I still play the 16th notes, but I take away two and four, and I add an accent after every bass drum note. So the 16th note after the bass drum note is accented, all the other 16th notes are unaccented. You're like, Steven, hold up. This is, we kind of start getting layers deep. We, st we start going layer upon layer. This is what that sounds like. Three. And again, I'm just like I'm just starting on this. This this lesson's been going what 25 minutes or something? I don't know. I don't I don't have a I don't I don't know what time it started. <laughs> I'm having fun with this lesson in case you can't tell. 
So that's how we defeat this gremlin that plagues, plagues so many of our practice times, this half learning thing, is we stay with it. And the material that I've presented in this took me months and years to really master the concepts, to see them show up in my playing. With each new one, I'd be like, okay, hold on, I gotta work out flams, putting the grace note there, putting the grace note here. What happens when I put, and there's tons of methods I haven't even shown you, just in the, in the my uh, new course, The Art of Drumming Independence, I've got over 70 methods that we go through in a methodical system that shows you step by step how to apply these to your soloing, to your drum fills, your drum grooves, how to create your own methods, um, all of those things. Now that we've covered all that, I wanna go into this half learning thing and I wanna tell you all about exactly what that is, what that does to us on a mental and emotional level in our practice time and how that completely stalls out our practice and for many of us leads to, I know myself, inconsistent practice times. I stop practicing because I stop getting those daily wins. I'm not seeing this material show up in my playing. Why is that? After I tell you all about that, I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can get registered for the Art of Drumming Independence. It is released, it's only released for a few days, so please don't wait around. It's the first time I've ever released this material to the public. It's not available in my online drum school campus. This is a, a freestanding course, and I want you to be able to take advantage of it, but it is not gonna be around forever. I'm offering some bonuses uh, with the release of this. I'm also offering a discounted price that I won't be offering again in the future, so please don't wait around. If you happen to be listening to this podcast after stick around there's more learning to be done but just know that there will be a wait list for the next one and I'll uh, when I release it again I'll get to those people as they signed up in the order that they signed up uh, when I release the course again which I'm not sure when that will be so there's a problem that we need to dive back into and solve in this video it's been plaguing the drum community for as long as I can remember. And with the advent of the internet, it seems to have only gotten worse. It's a common enemy we all have, including myself, and I call it half learning. Now you heard me talk about it in the lesson that I sent yesterday. We start learning something, we're all excited about it, we become just good enough so that we can play it a little bit, but then we feel this pressure to move on, to learn more material. So we move on from that material before we've integrated it into our drumming, before we actually see it show up in our drumming and this is what's called half learning when we do this we have truly wasted our time the fear of oh no I'm gonna waste my time if I continue to work on this it becomes true because we move on and we don't see it show up in our playing and when we do that we have truly wasted our time because the material we spent our valuable time working on it's wasted we, we can't see that material in our playing we didn't learn the material on a deep enough level to have it show up. Tell me if this sounds familiar to you. It's, it's very familiar to me. So you set aside your valuable time to practice the drums, to practice a topic that you're interested in or that you think might help you. Valuable time you could be spending with your family, with, with your dogs, with your friends, heck, anywhere except the drums. Even though you set aside the time to work on this material, you constantly have the feeling of no forward movement. You work on this material, you get it just good enough, and then you find some new shiny object. Maybe that's a video you saw on social media. Maybe that's some lick that a buddy showed you. And instead of staying with the material that we've been working on, we jump to this new topic without ever seeing the other topic show up in our playing. The problem with this is we have to start over again. So we start over again on this new topic from this shiny new object that was kind of dangled in front of our face. We start working on it, we get just to get enough, and then maybe the internet comes back along and gives you another video that you need to go start working on. So you jump ship from that one and we don't have any forward motion because we didn't see it show up in our playing. So now we're jumping ship again, and we're moving on to the next shiny object and we work on that and we repeat this cycle endlessly and that common enemy of half learning beats us every time. And that's when the feeling hits you. It's the feeling of regret. You regret the time you've spent on that stuff because it feels like you've wasted your time, wasted your family's time who set aside that time for you to go do that. You feel like you've wasted that time because you've seen no forward progress. You didn't work on the material in a deep enough level. And so we go down that downward spiral of thinking I'm just not good enough to do this. Maybe I'll never be the drummer I thought I could be. I'm never gonna get ahead. They're always gonna be better than me. And here's the secret. It's not your fault. Literally, these social media platforms, who are not the enemy, but they are a distraction, they have teams of people that their whole job is to keep you on that platform and interested in the videos that they're showing you. They're employed to keep you distracted. So how do we fight this common enemy of half learning. How do we get past it? My new course, The Art of Drumming Independence, does just that. I just finished 
filming this course. It's all new material. It's never been released before. It is a blueprint. It's a very simple and easy to use system that will work you through a set of exercises. It will take you from very simple to very complex in a very natural and short amount of time. It will help you focus and do a deep dive of the material in the chorus so that you come out the other side with an entirely new set of tools to use in your drumming. Just this morning, I was checking some comments on Facebook and someone said, Stephen, thank you so much for introducing this way of interpreting these reading studies. I've never looked at it this way. This literally gives me a whole new language to use in my drumming. And that was from a three minute video on a topic that I cover in one of the 72 methods in this course. And you need to understand what I mean when I say drumming independence. I don't mean I can play this pattern with my right hand and this one with my left hand and this one with my right foot and this one with my left foot. That is not drumming independence for me. To me, drumming independence is complete freedom. It's a feeling you have inside. It's the ability to have independence around the drum set with the material that you've worked on and that you've honed on a deep level. To be able to play what you hear in your head, to have an idea and understand how to systematically work through that idea, to grow that idea, to use it to create unique drum beats and drum fills and solo to truly have independence and mastery with the material you have worked on. To have this happen, we have to eliminate the half learning in your drumming practice time. The art of drumming independence does just that for you. This is material and a program that you can grasp if you are a beginner, as well as material that will challenge you if you are an advanced player. I mean, I consider myself an advanced player and some of the material filming the examples was challenging me to work through it so that I could show you exactly how to play through these systems. You can go through it multiple times on various levels, working deeper and deeper into the material to see success. Want to improve your single stroke rolls on the drum set? This system does that. You want to improve your double stroke rolls and how you use them around the drum set? This system does that. Want to learn to utilize basic rudiments like flams and paradiddles around the drum set? Guess what? This system does that. Want to increase your kick drum speed, dexterity, and power? This system does that. Want to gain more independence with your kick drum? Yes, you guessed it, the system does that. I have been playing the drums professionally since the age of 15. I actually just got done with a year and a half long stint with a band here in Nashville where I was on the road full time. Like I, I do this stuff daily. I've been teaching the drums for more than 24 years and I've been teaching the drums online for more than 15 years through my YouTube channel, my online courses, my podcast, my individual courses that I put out my online drum school. I have taught millions of drummers around the world. I talk to students weekly that are achieving their drumming dreams, dreams like playing in bands and seeing incredible progress in their practice time, all by applying the principles that I teach in my programs, just like this one. I've built a career out of teaching and playing the drums. I don't just think or hope this stuff works. I don't, I don't go on hope here. I know it works. I have tested it and I have refined my principles over the ye years through my professional career as well as with my students. The Art of Drumming Independence course will allow you to get rid of self-doubt by learning and integrating all of the new material into your playing. You'll be motivated by your daily progress. You'll gain confidence because of seeing this stuff show up in your playing every day. And as well, most important thing, you're going to join an elite group of drummers that are able to access their full vocabulary at any time. This system will help you get there. Now look, I have students all over the world of all ages that are just like you. Students like Pooley who teaches at universities in the Boston area and he decided he wanted to play the drums and after only a short time he's playing out in other bands multiple times a week and having the time of his life. Or maybe you're like Bob, a retired engineer with a passion for drumming. He's discovered a whole other side of himself through the process of learning the drums and in my programs. Or there's Noah. He started in my program when he was in middle school and by the time he got to high school he was playing playing in his church youth band. If you want to hear personally from some of my students, you can go check out my podcast, The Drum Show. I have a series on there where I actually interview my students and their experiences. And I think at the very least, it will encourage you in what you're doing. Okay, so the art of drumming independence. I know you're saying, Stephen, I get it. The art of drumming independence, what is this going to cost me? Before we get to that, I want to talk to you about my 14-day steal my stuff guarantee. You have 14 days to go through the material. You you can download the booklet, you can do all of that, and if you're unhappy for any reason, all you have to do is call the studio or drop us an email and we will give you a full refund, no questions asked. Now, just for comparison's sake, what private drum instructor do you know that you can go take a lesson from them, get all their material, and two weeks later call them up and say, yeah, you know that personal lesson we did? I thought about it and I actually don't think I learned that much. I'd like my money back, please. 
they would probably think you're crazy for calling them and asking for a refund. I call this a steal my stuff guarantee because you can literally go through and download the stuff and just take it. You can go through the material. Now, I don't think you're gonna do that, but I wanna make it clear that this is a literally a no risk offer for you. You can steal my stuff, but the lot, bottom line is I don't want to keep your money if you're not satisfied. Now, if I were to teach all of this material to you in person, it would cost you thousands of dollars. I charge $100 per hour long drum lesson, and it would take me a long time to present all this material to you. Trust me, it's taken me a long time just to record all of the lessons as well as all the playing examples. There's over 200 playing examples in this course. For the same material that I've included in the Art of Drumming Independence, it would cost you thousands to get that in person, but you can get it here right now at the special introductory price. Remember, I've never released this material before or this system for only $99. And I promise you, I'll never make this exact offer again. Now, if you don't wanna pay all up front, no worries. I've got you covered because there is also the option to pay $29.75 once every two weeks for a period of eight weeks. So that's gonna be four payments for separate payments of $29.75. That's the basic package. If you want a more in-depth experience, we've got the plus package. I've just finished recording a new boot camp as well as a mini course. For the plus package, it includes my drumming creativity boot camp. It's a $75 value as well as my music at using music as a practice tool mini course and that's another $50 value. But you get all of that stuff, $125 extra value for only $20 more. You heard me right, only $119 and you can have the entire course plus the boot camp, plus the mini course. The bonuses are actually worth more than the special low introductory price of the course. And of course, again, you have the option to break this up into four separate small payments of $34.75. If that fits you better, it would be one payment every two weeks over a course of eight weeks for a total of four payments of $34.75. If you want an even more personal and in-depth experience than I've got you covered there. We're talking about the premium level. In addition to everything that comes with the basic package, everything that comes with the plus package, you will also get, and this is this is huge, it is a three month non-recurring pass to my online drum school, the Drum Better Daily Program. Now that's a $249 year, dollar yearly value. Also comes with a personalized lesson plan from me upon request, that's a $50 value. Access to my online drum school also comes with access obviously to the online campus that has over 70 courses, hundreds of videos, and as well, a forum area where you can hang out with a community of drummers just like you. And here's the coolest one, and actually, to me, this is worth the most. You get access to two weekly live student video calls that I host myself, uh, me and my community manager, uh, Grant Jenkins. You get access to those for three months. That's 24 live student calls that you get access to. You get access to the live call so you can tune in. You can submit questions before. You can tune in and talk to me. You can also view the recorded versions of those later uh, in the online campus. And this is worth thousands as, as I am actually live on the call with you teaching and answering the questions that you have. So with the premium package, you can get everything that's in the Art of Drumming Independence package and course, which is at a special introductory price right now. You get $125 worth of bonus materials that's also included in the plus package, and you will have access to hundreds of drum lessons, over 70 courses, my online campus of my online drum school, two live weekly calls. We're talking thousands of dollars worth of material that you can, you can get all of that for only $159. And again, if you'd like to spread that out over four equal payments, you can do a payment of $44.75, every two weeks for a period of eight weeks. It's gonna be four payments of $44.75. Here's the deal though, this offer and registration for the Art of Drumming Independence course is only available for a few days. The reason is, is because I am very involved personally with all of these courses. I like to answer all questions personally myself and there's only so much of me to go around. So I do limit the enrollment period so it's only gonna be available. Okay, so here's what I want you to do right now. Click the registration button and you will be taken to a page where you can choose your course package and then you'll be taken to a secure checkout page. Now look, this thing is locked down. Your information is going nowhere and it is safe with us. Once you complete the process, you'll be taken to a thank you page, which will tell you to, hey, go check your email, right? So you go over to your email, and if you don't hear from us within five to 10 minutes, the email gremlins have gotten the email, you need, to, you need to let us know. But you should receive an email within five to 10 minutes of signing up, usually sooner. You'll have a link and instructions for how to ac access the online campus, how to immediately view your course, how to get in touch with us if you have any problems, and there you go. You're then good to go for the course. Now look, I can't make you take this course. I know this material 
real work. I know this system works. I know because I've used it in my own drumming in my career. I've used it in tons of my students as they're working through the material. You have the choice to continue down the same path that has made you unhappy in your drumming, to continue to struggle day to day to see progress in your drumming, to continue to work harder than is necessary, continue wasting your valuable practice time, keep getting the results you've always gotten, to see other players improve when you're staying stagnant, continue the half learning and to lose the chance for the valuable bonuses that I'm offering with this course right now. It's your choice to continue down that path or we can choose a new path and we can say, you know what, I'm gonna commit to this, I'm gonna commit to this system, I'm gonna commit to this course and I'm gonna change my drumming and quit half learning for good. Remember, for a fraction of the cost of other instruction, you are going to finally be able to transform your practice time. You will finally be able to beat back the half learning that has been plaguing you for so long. You will have a system and the material to work through to help you see your drumming explode. You are going to get rid of self-doubt by learning and integrating all of this new material. You'll feel good about yourself and your playing forward motion, daily wins, and finally seeing the material show up in your drumming. You'll be motivated by your daily progress. You'll gain confidence because you know exactly what to work on and you will join that elite class of drummers that are able to access their full vocabulary of playing at any time. All you have to do is click that button, choose your course, and let's get starting on revolutionizing your drumming. I can't wait to work with you in this course.